Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. This is uh, episode 37 already. Can't believe that. Well, we've got a lot going on today. We've got a lot of things that we want to build. Um, just want to get rid of this cotton first. Just to make a bit of space for any more to come. Just quickly move it, push it to the side for now. Okay, so the sheep have been producing wonderfully, they've reproduced, their stock is going through the roof at the moment. So, um, and uh, means we're having to feed pretty much every day. Well, what happened there? Just trying my extra power, see if I could pick up the whole pallet instead of sliding it. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I wonder why. I should have just put this straight into the... Um, into the bale store. Yeah, well, let's slide it over there into the bale store and go and put it in there. We've got big plans for that coming up later in this episode. Hang, hang in there and check out what we do there. Let's just get these in there quickly. A bit of morning exercise. Yeah, I would imagine we've got about 15, well, it's, it's probably 18 ish bales in there now. Won't check it up now. Just get this in and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and pick up the um, pick up the exotic fruits. The <laughs> Well, we call them exotic fruits but uh, really uh, we know them pretty well. So I think it was oranges and uh, what was the other one? Pineapples we've already done, so it was oranges and lemons. Oranges and lemons. We're going to uh, take those into town and just get those sold for the first for this first batch. We've got some big plans coming up for that as well. Also in this episode, so stay, stay, stick around and check those out. All right, let's just get this little one hooked up. We'll go and. Uh, Pick up the oranges and lemons. So this is our first batch that we've uh, that we'll be picking up. So that's why I'm just going to show it through the delivery into town. What are these? These must be lemons. We go. I'm going to pick up the oranges now. Looks like uh, looks like there's enough. Oh no! Pick up the tomatoes again. Don't worry. We'll uh, we'll go and deliver the tomatoes. I want to put the uh, ketchup factory onto. Onto selling mode for a little while. We've got so many tomatoes. Need to um, have a look at uh, production of tomatoes. We might have to take it down a little bit or find something else to do with the tomatoes. But we'll uh, we'll check that out in the next episode or so. I would think. Right now, I'm concentrating this one on. This episode on the on the wool and the and the exotic fruits, getting those as profitable as possible. Ah, still, I made a little bit of a mistake when I when I put these up. They just I just didn't give quite enough space here. It's not too much of a problem. So I think there's only one more until it's just, this batch is full. Well, couple. And filled up, so that's no problem. So we've got a whole lot of tomatoes, oranges, and lemons to take into town. We'll get that done. We'll take it down with the um, with the milk.
Right, let's, let's get up to the top shed and go and pick up the, the milk uh, the milk lorry. We won't put the trade on. We'll just deliver because I think the milk, um, the dairy in town will be just about full of milk. So we'll take that down, get that sorted out at the same time. And we'll bring back the the cheese and the uh, and the butter and mayonnaise. There shouldn't be a huge amount of that. A couple of boxes of each because I think we collected quite late last month. There will be something. It will it will bring us quite a bit of income in. And we're, six, we're sitting at a reasonable bank balance yet. I haven't paid back any loans yet. So we're sitting at uh, just over 600,000. But we've got big expenditure to come through during this ep episode as well. So perhaps at the end of today, we might uh, repay some of the bank loans. Not quite sure how many there will be that, that we can do, but It'll be okay. Right, it's a nice little load of milk. We'll head off into town. This will be a little bit of milk left here that we can sell during, uh, not, du not during, <laughs> through our um, farm stall. Right, so we'll head off into town and we'll see you once we're there. Right, so here we are in town. We're going to turn right here and uh, just pop in, go and deliver the milk. Then we'll take the tomatoes up to the ketchup factory. Yeah, as I thought, not a huge amount. There's a reasonable amount there. It'll bring in some money through the through the store. Uh, what's happening here now? Let's find the trigger. <laughs> Nothing else should should deliver here, so yeah, it should just be the milk. Get that delivered. Yeah, I'm going to take this uh, batch of butter and well, the butter we have been selling through our through our um, farm stall. But I'm going to take this batch of cheese up as well. I have to check out the pizzeria later on. Um, we've got some other stuff to bring down, which I'll do off camera, and then I'll sort out the pizzeria and do the, the sale of the pizzas. Right, it looks like it's done. Right, so let's get off up to the Where are we going now? We're going to the Where we Oh yeah, we were going off up to the Oh, what's it called now? The ketchup factory. <laughs> Just up the drag. We've got to think about buying a popcorn factory as well sometime so we can do something with the butter. We've got to get dried corn though, so we've got to we haven't planted any corn yet, so that's still something that could be done in the future, but right now we'll just sort out what we're doing now. Well what we've got now. Right, we let this deliver. I want to uh, change the um, the delivery mode of the ketchup factory to selling. I think we'll sell for a while and then we'll run down the stocks that we've got in the pizza 
in the pizzeria and, and then uh, restock that with fresh well it's fresh in any event so it's pretty much preserved as well when you make ketchup so okay, so we've got plenty of water in there that's changed let's hop on in back deliver the rest of the the tomatoes when we come back down we will um, we'll sort out the uh, tomatoes that are waiting to be distributed we'll take those into into the pizzeria and sell the rest but I've got to find I've got to do a little bit of additional thought on the tomatoes tomatoes production is so high um, see if there's anything else we can do or lower production just to be a little bit more efficient well it's not inefficient just to try and be a little bit more profitable maybe see if there's anything we can do to make the tomatoes more profitable just have to go over the little edge there. it's so tight in this area especially when we're using the, the milk lorry so we'll go and sell these uh, oranges and lemons. I just want to sell this first batch. As I said, I've got a, I've got big plans for those for the future. We'll get it started in this uh, in this episode. But it'll probably only be the next episode before uh, before anything uh, material happens with it. see how much we make so I don't think selling them directly is going to it's going to make reasonable money but it's because it's I mean the inputs are pretty low you know um, we use our own water we use our own manure so the the inputs are are very low besides of course the land and the, the labor as such that's one is that one three two five but yeah, it's uh, not fully delivered, not fully in the um, in the trigger point. It's another problem with using the lorry. It's a bit it's a bit longer than tractors, so sometimes we don't get well. We don't notice that we're not fully into the into the into the delivery area. And then the union guys won't come and unload it, of course. <laughs> Uh, got to find somebody to blame it on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dear. All right, so how much did we get there? Seven odd, one, three, yeah, so nine thousand odd, ten. With the with the environment score about ten grand, not not too bad for um, four days uh, production. But I think I I think we can make more money out of that. We'll get that sorted out during this episode as well, towards the end of the episode actually. Right, so what we're hanging around for now. Here we go. I can see some pizzas there waiting to, to be delivered. We'll do that on the next run in. It's probably be off camera when we do that. Just got so much to do this, um, this episode. Let's go and pick this up while we here. We still got some milk in there. Is that? Did we not wait for it to be fully delivered, or is it full? Let's just see if it'll deliver. Maybe we should just check to see if it's if the dairy is actually full. This is it. Well, up to capacity for storage of milk. It probably is. Yeah, it's definitely not delivering. Let's gonna have a quick look. I think we wanna go down, not up. 
Here we go. Ketchup. That's like we want it. Yeah, it's nearly 100,000 litres in there. Shouldn't have to bring milk down for a while, so it's going to be make milk pretty product. Well, pretty productive. It's always productive, but pretty uh, lucrative over the next uh, couple of episodes or months. It's probably leave it leave milk deliveries for two, maybe three months now. We'll check it every every time we come down. There'll always be something coming down town, so you can always just keep an eye on it. Right, so let's get this other stuff loaded up and then we're gonna pick up the any mayonnaise that has been made. That should be still pretty much operating okay. Right, let's get across this, strap this up. Yeah, so the farm is, uh, I've probably said it a couple of times, it's developing very nicely now. We're coming along quite nicely. We're not far off having most of the things that we want. And then it's just a question of uh, repaying off the loans. Lots of them to repay off. Repay off to repay <laughs> or to pay off. One of the two. <laughs> yeah, there's only two crates, that's good enough though. It'll bring in some good money. Let's get that strapped up and then we'll head off back up to the farm. And uh, let's just quickly check to see. Yeah, we still got enough. Still got enough inputs there. Keep us going. We'll deliver eggs later in the day and shouldn't be too long before we're going to be self-sufficient on supplying the... Well, by the end of the summer we will be supplying the, um, the oil factory from our own production, so I don't really want to buy any more in at this point in time. Here we are back at the farm. Let's get the product delivered. So I think we've probably got some milk we can deliver. Then we can deliver the cheese and the oh damn. Let's go do the mayonnaise quickly. Right, so that's we're over 700,000 now. Looking good. Right, we also need to get the the grass done. So I want to get the worker on to mowing the grass. Or well, the big grass field. When I say the grass, when I talk generally about the grass, I'm talking about the big grass field. Got to work out what I want to do with it. I want. I need to put some grass. I think we can tear it all. But we're going to need to um, collect some of it to put into the tier, uh, to the silage f uh, fermenter, and then we need to make the best, the best, the rest <laughs> into uh, into hay bales. We'll get plenty of straw from. Um, I think we've got wheat planted somewhere. So we'll get plenty of straw from there. So by winter time we should be okay again in terms of our stocks are okay now for hay and straw and silage we should be okay for at the moment uh, for the summertime keeping the cows fed. So we can feed hay to the to the sheep as well so we should probably just make hay and get it stored we might have to build another storehouse soon right let's just get the rest of the milk filled in 
All right, so we did have everything. There's just the 8,000 left that we had in the tank that we should have delivered early on. Hmm. Have to look at that. Oh, I, th I keep forgetting we did all the deliveries pretty late last month, so yeah, we're not at full 24 hour production. Try and get back onto schedule, onto daily routine. Alright, so that's all done. Get that delivered. Take some money from there. How much is that going to bring? That should bring a reasonable amount of money in. Yeah, not to be scoffed at. Right, let's just collect the rest of these tomatoes. Just to do a bit of tidying up. I'm going to put these into the into the pallet warehouse for now. Yep, that's that full. We'll leave that there for next month's collection. Just going to put this into the pallet warehouse. I'll deliver it later during the day, off camera. Mustn't forget to check the uh, feed for the for the animals. Probably going to, it's probably going to need another another warehouse. Not sure we will put it up. Right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to start uh, building our on-farm productions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reclaim some of the potato field that we have going at the moment to. It's fairly flat there, so we should be able to put up uh, a couple of productions up there. The first thing I want to do is um, some clothing production. First of all, we need to get the whole area reclaimed and uh, made suitable for building one. Right. And to go into landscaping, that's what we want to do. Right, so it shouldn't be too long when we can get this sorted out. So let's get this. I think we'll just put dirt down for now and then we'll build in and we'll do all the beautification at a later stage. Here we go. Fantastic. Let's get that sorted out. So yeah, I'm just going to take this protruding bit. Makes sense to see how much we can get on this little area. Just makes that um, that big field a little bit easier to work on. We're trying to utilize the sort of flat areas. So we could utilize um, a little bit of the grassland at the top there as well. We'll just see how we get, how much grass we get off that field, or how much production we get off that field. Bearing in mind it's not great soil. bigger brush now. That's better. It's a fair size area. Just 
depends on how big the productions are. I hope there's enough space. More space at the top there because we can go into the grass area a bit. Oh, so it's flattish. I don't think I'll do any uh, landscaping on that at this point in time. Right, so let's get a clothing factory built. So I'm thinking we'll put the uh, clothing factory at the top here. I think it's a fairly big building, and I think, but I think it'll fit in there quite easily. So my only concern with uh, is whether I've taken enough space from the potato field. But that's not a big problem because we can always take more if we need. We don't want to take too much because we want to keep that field pretty productive, especially when we put other crops in there. Right, so we're now looking for the clothing factory. There it is there. Let's get that in. Try and get the, uh, the sort of right area facing inwards towards the roads, towards the inside of the farm. So the front, the front of the operation. That's the way around that I want it. Let's have a look and see. We need to give enough room to travel all around, or right way around the. The building, yeah, that's looking good. Let's go and have a quick look. We we'll have to put some roads in, of course, and that's the front end of the store, and this is goods goods inwards. The back here. I think it, let's just put on the uh, interactive markers I think so that we can show you where they are. Yeah so that's goods in there. So in our case it will be wool going in there, goods out here. We'll have to, we must probably store some of the clothing um, because uh, the difference between the the low and high pricing for clothing is quite substantial so we'll try and sell that when it's best right so let's do a bit of road building put a track in, we'll enlarge the area in the front of the store, just so there's a bit of space to drive around. And I think we've got enough space to do a, a few more productions. So we did say we were going to try and do the chip production. I still haven't made up my mind whether we're going to actually do that or not because I don't know whether we'll, we can afford to do um, chip production or potato planting and um, sugar beet planting because of the the money and the time it takes to to harvest those those two products and I think sugar is probably going to be better for us so I think that's what we'll do is we'll be looking to put a sugar production facility in so that as soon as we get the crop which we are planting at the well we started planting last night we've still got to go and finish that off sometime today get the second field of sugar beet planted and then um, yeah we'll as soon as we can get that going we'll get the sugar going which means we can do quite a few other things we can do 
Um, we can do something with pumpkins. We can do if we decide to buy the bakery. But I have another idea for sugar as well, which uh, I will, uh, which we'll get onto in a little while. We just need to finish off this, and then we'll get onto the second production unit that I want to put in which is something that I haven't even spoken of so I'm just going to hold on to that little while what I can tell you is it's going to require sugar and of course we need sugar down at the apple orchard as well for the um, for the honey apple I think it's called And if we do buy the bakery, I think there's a couple of there's a couple of things that need sugar. But yeah, I'm I'm not sure that we're going to go that way actually. It was part of my initial plans was the was the pumpkin, um, but we'll have lots of flour, so yeah, it might well be that we still do that and just do the and not worry about doing things like cakes and because we need strawberries for that and that means we would have to start producing strawberries as well I think our productions are pretty much where they should be right so that's looking good got a bit of access there we'll probably have to we'll build in some other access roads as we work out where we want to get in and out of here at this but at this point in time that's fine don't mind driving across the grass to start with right so let's get clothing ac activated that means we need to go and pick up the wool that we've got in storage switch off the Directive markers for now, we know we're pretty much where everything is. I'm quite liking this little vehicle as a little shuttle for the for all the product. It does uh, does struggle a bit with the full load just to get going, but uh, we're never gonna get up to any huge well we don't need to get up to any huge speed to move the product between the productions on the farm so and it uh, gives us a little John Deere a job right so let's just jump out quickly and let's have a look and see how many how many bales or how many pallets of um, of wool we've got still keep wanting to say cotton but yeah I don't know whether I have said cotton somewhere during the, <laughs> this episode already more than likely haven't haven't even picked it up but in any case yeah let's get the wool out where is it now I missed it I think I just saw it and then just there we go well 21 that's kind of what I thought I thought 18 ish so yeah a little bit more than that Right, so we're going to load those up. Now, I don't think that this trailer takes a, a full 24 bales, uh, at least pallets of wool. So we'll, we'll just take what it is. It's not that far to go. We can always come back and fetch anything. I think it takes 18. Right, let's get that loaded up. Just make sure we're on auto load starting to get better with the auto load it's going through too fast and it wasn't loading up properly yes I didn't see how many we what have we got five left there from 21 so it's what's it 16 going in 
as you can see it struggles a little bit with the full load just to get going but and to get going and turning at the same time which is to be understood uh, well it's to be expected should I say right so this is pretty much our first on-site no it's not really because we got I was going to say it was pretty much our first on-site production but it's not silage was our first on-site production and the first pretty much the first day one of the first things we did was build that silage factory or the silage silo dryer converter whatever you want to call it all right so let's get this in here nice Right, we're going to pick up the, the next lot. Have we activated clothing production? Not sure, we'll go and check quickly. I think maybe not. I think I said I was going to, but I don't know whether I actually did. Wool, not cotton, wool, there we go, yeah, press the, activate the right one, <laughs> yeah, we got it, <laughs> yeah, I hadn't activated it, as you have just seen, <laughs> fantastic, let's go, and pick up that other lot and bring that in, I'm quite happy with the shape of this farm, and where everything is I think it's fairly efficient in terms of movement it's little odds of odd places where you need to cross over or retrace your steps but most of the time you can get to places without retracing your steps too much right come on just resetting the autoload again. So two five, we'll pick up this partial bale as well, partial pallet, should I say? Knock that on down to the. the clothing store yes yeah, so if we get uh, the sugar production in there as well plus the other production that I'm going to be showing you shortly I think uh, yeah we haven't lost too much arable land more important that we've made use of some flat land right let's just get this parked up for now and then I think the next thing I want to do is I want to pop on down and go and get the plants are going we just have to do a headland first and then I'll just put it onto a normal worker do up and downs let's just get that sorted out we're on sugar beet so we've got that we need to go and weed that field as well but we'll wait we'll wait for a month or so we'll weed but we'll weed them both at the same time and we'll do the potatoes right so we've just about finished the the headland and we'll just get it onto a worker let's probably have to fill that up a couple of times got a bit of seed there but I don't think there's much in that bag it's going nicely oh missed a bit there might have to do a bit of bit of touching up there right so the next thing we're going to do is I want to put in a juicing plant 
so we can make fruit juices out of our exotic fruits I was hoping that we could do tomatoes out of that but we don't seem to be able to do tomatoes at this facility so we'll still have to keep our minds open and start keep keep our brains working on what to do with uh, the excess tomatoes but we'll just get this going first so here we'll be able to produce well we're not doing grapes at this point in time we'll be able to do orange juice lemon juice pineapple juice which is what we're going to start with and then with sugar we uh, with sugar with the addition of sugar should I say we can do lemonade I think that'll bring in a sizable amount of uh, income not a huge footprint on the factory fits in very nicely there fantastic right so let's go and hitch up the trailer again and go and uh, collect the uh, the pineapple that we had put aside uh, in the last episode I think just having a quick drive around just to yeah yes yeah, I suppose we could widen the front but we don't need a lot of space there nothing it's just a drive through let's hitch up the trailer should have switched off the interactive markers but not too worried about that right here we go let's pick up these how many we've got there reasonable amount didn't count them they loaded too fast <laughs> Oh, let's be naughty and just drive across the grass. This is the other area that I was thinking if we need to expand on fairly flat. We can we can burgle a bit of the top of that piece of land as well. Let's keep everything nice and tight. Activate the just offload this and then we'll activate the pineapple juice and we should have pineapple juice in the next month or so to sell. Got to find a place that sells it there. Would be nice if we could sell it. Hopefully we can sell it through our farm shop. I don't know whether it would take it though. We'll have a look. Might of course be a specific selling point for for the juices we'll have to wait and see right so let's just go and get that activated pop into the office and give them the instructions so grape juice we can make apple juice orange juice pineapple juice and lemonade so let's activate the apple juice we don't need we're making that in the the apple orchard so we don't have to worry about that let's activate that so five five pineapples gives us four pineapple juice that's pretty good well i think that's where we're going to end this episode do hope you have enjoyed it if you have please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next episode cheerio